Supposing Arjuna thought of it, mind running and I had to catch the mind. Babaji, <laughs> it is not possible because it is not the mind that is running. I am running and the mind is pantingly coming behind me. <laughs> How can I call it? If my dog is going out of the gate, I can sit down and say, Hey, tiger, come here. How often I told you not to go out of the gate. And the tiger understood that the master is angry. And he comes back and says, If the dog is going and you are sitting, you can call back the dog. Supposing you are going out in the cycle and the dog is coming behind, how can you call? You can only cry to the dog, Go! Go inside! Don't, don't come with me! Go! The dog faithfully coming under, behind you, panting, hey, hey, the tongue out. See? In the same way, it is not you sitting in contemplation and your mind is running, then you can call back the mind. It is not the mind running. You yourself is running. And the mind, this poor thing, is coming behind you. So Arjuna thinks that, what is in this man talking unnecessarily? Why? It is not twenty percent, it is not forty percent, but he has got vasanas undigested, sixty percent vasanas. Therefore the pressure on M and I is so much, that M and I is perpetually in the world of OET. The moment you wake up, you start thinking of what am I to eat for breakfast now. Will the breakfast be ready from that moment onward till you go in the night tired in the bed? You have always thinking of the outer world of sense pleasures only. Such an individual who sits down for meditation, he will not be able to think of meditation. You will be meditating Krishna, 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 but your mind will go, the Krishna is always eating butter. Nowadays butter is not available. <laughs> How nice is Krishna? So many gopis are after him. <laughs> you understand? Because it's not your fault. Don't accuse yourself. You are sick. You are ill, you are suffering. You are suffering from a gorge of vasanas. In, thus, in that case, sixty percent of vasanas are in you undigested. Under its pressure, the mind and intellect is perpetually in the OET. If that is your composition of personality, don't blame yourself. This is what you brought from the past. Now what am I to do? In that case, never go to your prayer room. Don't go into that corner where you have got your private chapel and try to sit down there and bring the mind. You will create only suppressions. You will not be able to. Swamiji, that means I have no chance of spiritual... No, you have got also a method. <laughs> You do one thing. You, anyway, your mind is always in the world of activities and world of sensuous world, isn't it? Go! Remain there! But take me also in your pocket. Isn't it? Your children sometimes say, that, no, Papa, I will also come to the office. Every day you go to the office and I am a second engine. Then you say, okay, sit in the car. And you go and then tell the driver, take this little fellow back home and give it to the mother and get a receipt. <laughs> because the mother will say that he never brought him. Mother is also careless at home. So get a receipt from her. In the sense that the child wants to go at riding, that is all. In the same way, in case you are not able to sit down and contemplate because your mind is constantly in the world of objects, then take me to the field of work, meaning let all your activities be oriented with the memory of the Divine, the Lord. 
the Lord who is functioning in me because of which I am able to lift or work, see, hear, smell, taste, touch, all these activities are rendered possible in me only because of His presence. And it is He Himself who has become this world of Lodha. <laughs> O oh Lord, I am pouring you to yourself as my adoration to you. This is called the karma yoga. Therefore, the teacher says, Abhyase abhi, even for Abhyase yoga, asamarthaha asi, you have not got the ability to do so. Then, mat karma paramo bhava, may all your activities be oriented with me. Just as every moment and its activities are always oriented for that gold medal in the next Olympics for the sportsman or a politician who wants to become the president of the country, every action of his is oriented with that goal and he will never do anything that is contrary to it. Hey. In the same way, all activities let it be oriented with Narayan. Thus, three different <laughs> methods have been advised. 